Okay, this is a short video on watching your purchases from eBay. You see this? This is an oil pump off of a 99 Ford 4.2. This one got sent back because of this dent in the housing along with... Well, you can't see it because of the dirt. There's a big spot right here. It's raised where it was impacted from there. They shipped it in a soft package. But that's not what I'm actually here to talk about. It's the gears. And can you see that gear move? This is why you always check your tolerances and stuff on <coughs> your eBay purchases. This is not good. Okay, now, this is the original oil pump. It's got 300,000 miles on it. And I want you to watch again. There is maybe a thousandth, maybe two thousandths play instead of the 15 or 20 thousand. Okay, remember this is picking up oil, squeezing it through here, and pushing it down into here. Pulls it in here, squish, pushes it out here. I think is the route it goes. I don't know actually. But the main thing is is how far does that gear move? Tiny tiny bit. In comparison to this gear, which I mean, look, you can see the gap. I can stick my screwdriver down in there. Can't do that on the stock one. Always check your tolerances. Check the surface here. Make sure it's flat. See, this one's got raised areas, and this one just took a battering in the shipping. I'm sorry, I keep picking this thing up because I'm trying to look at what I'm trying to do. But it got abused badly in shipping. But this isn't shipping problem here. This is manufacturing problem. Now, I did go to a reputable uh, eBay seller. They had a 99% approval rating. And when I contacted them and sent them pictures of all this, they sent me another one that was in this box, not shipped in a soft package. And it works fine. But I just wanted to show you guys that so you could see As soon as this gear moves, that gear moves. And that's also the secondary problem. You see know, that? That turns right there. And it should. I mean, it's got 3, 300,000 miles on it. This one. I can't hardly push it with just one finger. And it has a spot where it gets tight. But, and I got something I wanted to add in here. This is the pump that showed up damaged. You can tell because it's got no oil or anything in it. This is the pump that I actually put on the truck and ran it with it and it leaked. Now it didn't leak. Well, it might have leaked because this surface may be machined incorrectly. 
but something else I found and I recommend doing this okay I don't know if you can read that oh, my battery's going dead See, that's 330 seconds. And that's nine one hundred and twenty eights. If you can't read it flashing. I'm just letting you know there's a difference in the depth from this one to this one and I would have to look and see what is the difference between 330 three seconds is deeper that's probably why this one leaks this is nothing but a casting here and this surface is machined they either machine this one not as much as they machine this one or vice versa I don't know and like I said I was also talking about how the gears have slop in them they're both like that I can't make it that one do it go oh, there the gear stiff something else was not right so Either way, I put the original back on. I got great oil pressure. I have no more leaks. I'm happy. But check the depth. If you have an O-ring that fits in here, check the depth on the original piece and then check that against your new piece. And make sure that it's not deeper on your new piece because then you'll end up with what I ended up with, which was a leaking gasket. This thing was it wasn't squirting out, but it was like drip, 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 drip. Which is not good, especially if you're going down the highway and you don't know it's drip, dripping. Oil spot. Bigger than that. About that big. In my garage floor. From dripping. Just from it running for about 10 minutes while I was charging up the AC. So, okay, that's all there is to this. That's all I'm gonna say about it anymore. I'm gonna add this to the other video. But, be aware. Check everything. Thanks for watching, bye. All right, that's my video for today. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Trying to just pass on a little bit of information about I'm not saying don't buy from eBay I'm saying make sure you're buying from a reputable seller with a high rating and that you can go back to them preferably find one that has free returns then that way when you get something like this see they didn't even want the old one back they just told me to keep it and they just sent me another one. But I mean, you can see a flaw in the. Sh I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a flaw in the machining right there. I'm trying to get the light to hit it right, but I don't think I can. Either way, double check your stuff before you ever install it. Fortunately, I never installed that, so all is good. All right, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a dozen. Treat people how you want to be treated, and maybe the world will get a little bit nicer. Well, once we get out of this mess we're in. Take care of yourself. Bye.